Hey guys, what's going on? Copper Crazy 23 here, and today we're doing a mod guide on the Nerf and Strike Elite Fire Strike. So yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> So now I'm going to be showing you the tools you're going to need. What you're going to need is a number zero screwdriver or an electric screwdriver, some electrical tape, some grease, and a hot glue gun. So let's get into long screws. Top half is ready to come off, so let's just pry that open. Okay, now you're inside your blaster, just make sure your end strike uh, accessory tooth doesn't go flying away, so just set that aside. Uh, the internals of this blaster is pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, you've got your plunger assembly and everything at the top. This is your light down here. We don't need to be touching that. So I'm just going to kind of take apart the box so it's easier to work with. And now for the air restrictor mod, uh, this air restrictor in this blaster is already taken out. But I'm just going to show you how you're going to want to do it. This front piece up here is completely detachable. And what you're going to do is just take this off and wiggle that off. Your air restrictor will be located in there. You just take the whole assembly out, place this back on, put it together again, and you're done. It's that simple. Air restrictor is gone. For this modification with the hot glue gun, what I'm going to be doing is actually gluing these three parts of the front of the plunger tube together to create a better seal. Now, you do not have to do this. It's going to be a fine seal without it. But it's just another thing to keep that air trapped in there. So what you're going to do is just get your hot glue gun and run it around the circumference of there. Just put it in real quick because it's going to dry very quickly. Make sure you've got it in the position that you want it, otherwise uh, you're going to be having some troubles getting that off. Okay, for the final part of this, you're going to want to get this right, otherwise your plunger is going to be stuck the wrong way, which is not very good. So let's double check where your plunger's got to go. Now, the plunger has to go like this. This, uh, put at the front here with the uh, adapt adapter for the front of there, must go forward. And the notches line up like that. So let's double check before you glue and just chuck it on there real fast and you should be good. Alright, let's do it. Oh, that was not going to happen. Okay, so this is a second part. This is another part in there as well, apparently. And, um, do you need that? Oh, that's where your, this is where your plunger head strikes. I'm actually going to keep that in there because it's going to stop uh, the plunger from being damaged if it's strike fired. I mean, it's still going to be damaged, but it's something just to prevent it. You always when I just get it all sucked in glue. So that's real strong now. And now we're ready to put the actual plunger. The, uh, onto the tank thing in. So, here we go. All glued up, that is going to be a much better seal. Okay, for us. the final modification, there is a air hole at the front here that lets air escape. So what we're going to do is get the electrical tape that I said we're going to need. Get a bit off. Lay it down on it. Make sure it is not greasy. Otherwise, the tape will not stick to it. Just give it a wipe. Put it on. Very 
very airtight pointed tube. Okay, now for the second spring well, that we're going to be adding up the back here. Now, this front part here isn't really going to want to come off, so what you're going to want to do is kind of uh, thread this spring inside onto the actual rod itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. Now that your spring is on your rod, uh, it's a good idea just to uh, make it flush with the other spring. This is going to uh, not cause so many cocking issues with the spring kind of overlapping and not getting into a good position. So if you can, make it flush with the two flat ends of the original spring. This is going to be making it much easier to pull back. Final kind of modification I'm going to do is re-lube this plunger tube and the o-ring. This is going to make the blaster perform a whole lot better and much more smoother than in its original form. So let's take that o-ring off. Uh, get something that is worthy of just scooping out some grease. I just use my flathead screwdriver, get a bit of grease out, and just dab it around the area. Another good way is just getting a bit on your finger and just inside the plunger tube, just grease that all up. Okay, now onto the reassembly of your blaster. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get the front mount for your plunger here and just clip it back in. To place as so, as you can see on there, and then get your tactical light and put it back in its slot like that. Now, if your plunger is on the correct way, it will just slide right in. As you can see, mine went in there, no problem. This top here, you should probably put this on top before you actually press it down. That goes on top like that. And that is actually what gives the fire strike the orange streak down the side of it. Your dart holders at the front here. You want that? Sorry. Uh, another thing you're going to remember is that hole there needs to go through this post for it to lock in. wires are out of the way. Slides right into place. Get your dart. Front piece now. Put that in. Nice and snug. Now you're going to want to put your plunger assembly in now. Slide that in. Make sure there will be a wall here that your spring will rest on. Just slip it over that and get the plunger assembly onto its posts. This is your catch up the back here. And now for your trigger, which goes obviously here. And make sure you remember your. There's a little nut down here that lets you unscrew your battery door. That goes in the slot just there. Make sure you remember that, and your end strike attachment rail up the top. Okay, once you have all those components in, you can now put the other side back on.
fly fly strike. Okay, so now to the wrap up of this mod guide, and uh, I think it was a very successful modification guide. It is shooting crazy hard now, as you'll see from the firing tests and demos. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you found this video informative. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that social media stuff, and yeah, guys, see you in the next one. How does that actually happen?